Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make a YouTube background for the new YouTube layouts. And this is for partners, for YouTube partners. Uh, I do have another version of this video for non-partners. You want to go watch that if you're not a YouTube partner. But with that being said, let me head into YouTube and let's talk about some stuff. I will be repeating a couple things uh, that I said in the non-partner version just in case you've already seen that, so be warned. YouTube has a new layout. If you're not aware, go check out the home page. Go check out the video pages. Everything is completely different. And this is what the channel pages look like. Everything, pretty much everything is changed. Now, if you don't have the YouTube layout, let me go back to the old channel design so I can show you guys. If you don't have the YouTube layout, the new YouTube layout, then what you want to do is just sign into your YouTube channel uh, and go on the channel itself and you're going to click on this notice that says click here to try the new channel's design. When you click and just like that, you should be on the new channel design, the new channel layout. So with that being said, partners, the difference between YouTube partners and uh, just non-partner YouTubers is the fact that we get this banner area at the top. Non-partners, let me go to my non-partner channel. Non-partners, like uh, the account that I made to make the previous video, the non-partner video, don't have that banner space. But my Octotush channel does. So if you're wondering why it says Average Kings at the top here, is because I'm just continuing off of the tutorial that I made previously in the non-partner video. So we're going to be making the background all over again uh, and add this banner space. With that being said, I'm going to head into Photoshop, which is the program that I'm going to use to make this video. Uh, if you are not a graphic designer and you're not really comfortable with Photoshop and you haven't really used it before, I will provide a link to a very similar program in the video description below. This program is called GIMP. Uh, it's very similar to Photoshop. It has a lot of the same features and it's free. So I'll provide that link along with the template link in the video description below. The non-partner video, I didn't have a template. I kind of just made it from scratch just because it was very simple to make. Uh, but with the banner and with all the different um, parameters and um, the rulers and everything, I decided to make a template for the partner version. So I'll provide the link to that in the video description below too. So with all of that out of the way, with all of that being said, we could finally get started on designing the YouTube channel background. Um, actually, feel free if you just want to download the template and get started on designing it on your own, go ahead. That's what I really would like. Uh, but I am going to just be throwing a simple design on this uh, just to kind of show you guys how it's done. Now, just in case you haven't seen the non-partner video, I'm assuming that you haven't seen the video, I will be repeating a lot of the steps that I did in the non-partner video. So if you have seen the video, uh, you could just skip ahead to the part where I'm focusing on the banner. So what I'm going to do now is pretty much delete everything and we're going to start from scratch. We have this background, so I'm going to double click on the background layer and click on gradient overlay. Um, the gradient consists of just pretty much two colors. One is a light gray color with a hex code of 767676. And then the darker color, the color at the top, is has a hex code of 505050. It's just a darker gray color. And I kind of just uh, messed with these uh, to make the gradient differ a little bit. So I'm going to press OK and press OK. Now that we have the gradient set, what we want to do is add these stripes that we added in the non-partner background. So to add the stripes, we're going to make a pattern. So click on File New, and we're going to make a new image with a width of 1 pixel and a height of 10 pixels, and press OK. I'm going to zoom in over here, and then we're going to double click on the background layer to unlock it, and we're going to choose the eraser tool and erase everything there, and then we're going to choose the pencil tool, which is usually hidden behind the brush tool. I'm going to choose the color black because that's the color that I want the stripe. And I'm going to color in the first two pixels with that black color. And then we're going to go to edit. And we're going to click on define pattern. And we're just going to name this stripes. And press OK. So now let's head back to that template and make a new layer. Command Shift N on a Mac or Control Shift N on Windows is a shortcut key to making a new layer. We're going to fill this in with the paint bucket tool with black and we're going to change this, uh, change the layer mode to screen. And this is going to make it so the black doesn't show at all, but that's exactly what we want. I'm going to double click on that layer and now let's click on pattern overlay 
and I'm going to choose that stripe pattern that we just made. And now we have these stripes. So that's pretty much all I want to do for now. So I'm going to press OK. But we're going to bring the opacity of this layer down to about 20%. And then we're going to click on this rectangle with a circle in the middle of it to add a layer mask. And we want to make sure that our foreground color is black, our background color is white. And then we're going to choose the gradient tool. And then we're just going to kind of click and drag from the bottom up to add this gradient and you'll see the effect that it does. It kind of just makes the stripes fade from full on, you can see it, to nothing. And so we're looking good so far. Now what I want to do is add the crown that I added uh, in the non-partner video. So I'm just going to click and drag and add that right about there. I'm actually I'm going to rotate this a little bit more. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So now this is the part where we're caught up with the non-partner video and now we want to add the actual banner. So let's zoom in to where the banner is. Now YouTube partners also have the flexibility or the availability with this banner to add coding. So I could add um, averagekings.com or whatever website or whatever link over here and then actually make it clickable for on my YouTube channel. So when people are viewing it on the YouTube channel, they can actually click right here and go to the website. Now this isn't done in Photoshop, but keep that in mind when designing it. So I will add any links or anything that I want in this banner area. So first of all, what I'm going to do is click and drag this right here, the Average Kings logo onto the template. Just gonna make it a lot smaller. Let's zoom in. Okay, so now we could add this to where the banner area is, and as you can see, the G over here kind of um, just kind of drips on or moves on to the area that it's not for the banner. So we don't really worry about that though because we're not going to be coding the G. If it's not coded, then we can make it anywhere that we want. We can make it go anywhere that we want. But if we want to code it to add a link, we just got to make sure that it's within the banner parameters. So with that being said, I'm going to click on the text tool and we just want to kind of add some stuff. So I'm going to type in apparel, accessories, and videos. And we'll just make this a little bit smaller and set it to the side. And then right under it, I want to type in averagekings.com. And we're going to make this even smaller and set that right at the corner of the banner. And there we go. We're done with the background. So we're going to click on File, Save As. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop as a PNG file. That's the most important part. Doesn't matter what you name it as long as it's a PNG. So press save, press OK. And then we're going to go to our YouTube channel and click edit channel. And the background has already up been uploaded. So I'm just going to delete it. And then I'm just going to choose the file and kind of upload the same background again. And we want to make sure we choose a color that matches. So this blue color completely does not match the gray background. We just want to choose the gray color. And then also we want to make sure over here on this on the right side with the channel banner, we want to make sure 150 is uh, typed down. So 150 pixels of space opens up at the top. And now there's all of this coding that I have previously pasted into here. All this coding uh, pretty much just makes this clickable. So it makes different areas of it lead to different links. Now that's another thing that YouTube partners could do as I mentioned. But I won't be reviewing that or going over how to do that in this tutorial because I have a separate tutorial going into further detail for that. But basically what we would do is we would head back into Photoshop. We would choose this tool right here, the rectangular marquee tool, and select our banner area. So everything for our banner is selected and we're going to go to image, crop. And now we have our banner. And then we're going to go to file, save as and we're going to save this as banner.png. And then we would use that image, head into Adobe Dreamweaver, add the code to it, and then come back and paste the code right into here. And then we will be done with the overall thing, uh, banner coding and everything. 
So as I said, I will have the link to the video on how to do that in the video description below. But as of right now, we're pretty much done. And this is our final result. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you guys actually learned something from it. And I hope you guys can apply it to your own YouTube channel. So that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, this is Octotoots.com and I will see you guys later.